Hey Love Nuts, it's Jana from Canada. I am here with my roundabout, um, which I will just point out has pretty good pattern placement. We've got this little lily right here, almost a full lily down by the lug logo. And then on the back we have one full lily. I was so happy with that. So I'm quite disappointed that this little roundabout doesn't work for me. That being said, I don't want anyone to think that this is not a good item. It's a great, great product. Amy designed this geniusly. It is uh, really, really versatile. It's a workhorse. This thing is full right now. This is actually holding almost all of the contents of my zip liner. Um, the only things I couldn't fit in here was my, um, my Eco Shopper and obviously no book and there's no option for a water bottle either but it is still a really impressive little bag. So I'm still gonna recommend this to uh, anybody who wants to try it. Okay, are you ready to see what is in this thing? Cause you're really not gonna believe it. It's mind blowing. We've got a soft lined pocket right here on the front. That is my favorite place to put the phone. Um, it's just easy access. And so again, this is the iPhone 6 Plus. It's a very large phone. It's quite tight right now just cause I have this jam packed. Uh, normally it wouldn't have been that hard to get it in and out. In the next pocket, the wallet pocket, you know it's the wallet pocket because it has double zippers. That pocket I have got full of pretty much all the cards, every card. Um, I had to kind of, like as you can see right in the middle there, I've just got a whole bunch of cards just stuffed there because there's not really anywhere else to put them. But there's still a ton of cards in here. This slip pocket at the back fits my checkbook. We've got ID slot as well as slots here. This is where I like to put my most often used so that when I do go to open the bag, it's right, they're right at the top. In the middle here, we've got a coin slot for all my coins. On the other side, I've got some coupons and gift certificates and then tucked in the other soft line pocket is my sunglasses. Now, keep in mind, you can put the phone in there and then put your sunglasses out here if you want um, or just leave, use this one for something different if you don't need that second soft line pocket. Um, I just realized something. Another wallet with a soft line cell phone pocket on the inside. I lied in my kickflip video. The roundabout has a soft line cell phone pocket on the inside. All right, there, I stand corrected. Okay, so phone, sunglasses, all those cards, coupons, money, cash, everything in there, checkbook, very impressive. In the back, we'll call it like the cosmetic pocket, Kleenex, my charging bank for my phone. We've got a couple of makeup items back here in the mesh pouch, and then my lip balm, lip stain, lotion, and mascara in the little elastic bands here. And then I don't use this back slip pocket here because I find it kind of gapes open a little bit. But if you needed more space to store stuff, you could put more stuff in there. So that is everything that is in this roundabout. Isn't that just amazing how much crap you can fit in here? Now for different ways to wear it, I may as well just show you all the different rays even though I only like to wear it the one way. We have got a shoulder bag. Uh, you can extend the strap. I will go to the max. If you want to wear it crossbody, once again, very, very generous strap here. So this is how, um, I tried wearing it like this for a little while. I did like how, again, you've got your phone pocket right there so the phone's easy to get at and your wallet just pops open. So that was really convenient, I liked that. But I still, I just didn't like the look of it as a crossbody purse. It reminded me a lot of the scoop in that it felt like it was like a football on string and I don't really like that feeling. So I actually used the wrist strap the most. Ta-da! I like using this as just a wallet. What someone said that sold me on this is that if you're the type of person who likes to go from bag to bag to bag, it's easy to have all of your essentials in the roundabout and just move the roundabout from bag to bag as your wallet. Now I found it's almost too big to be a wallet. Like you have to be a giant bag type of girl to be using a giant wallet like this. Um, it does fit in the zip liner. You know, there's still a lot of room as you can tell because you can barely see it in there. But I still just felt like when I reached into my purse to get my wallet, it just felt so huge. And, and again, I didn't really like that. So I tried just using it as like a wristlet wallet. So basically this was my purse all the time. I didn't take a purse around with me, which was crazy. It is so hard not having, you know, like a book and an eco shopper and just 
the kitchen sink um, with me at all times. So I did try it this way. Now I found that after a while of holding it like this all the time, uh, my wrist started to hurt, which is weird. And I also found myself getting annoyed because I felt like I had to have it in my hand. Otherwise, it just kind of dangled like that. To me, this was more in the way than a crossbody or backpack or whatever. So yeah, in the end, I just found that I didn't like wearing it as a shoulder or a crossbody or as a wristlet, and I didn't even like using it as just a wallet itself. But there is one more way to wear the round boat. As the hip bag, just like the coupe, uh, it stays on your hip. It's very hands-free, very stylish. Now also keep in mind, um, because you have the straps on the side now instead of up here, you can also get a little bit more space by clipping one side onto that D-ring, wrapping it around yourself, and then clipping onto that D-ring. So you see you get a little bit more, a little bit more space that way. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about, it's quite large, and because I chose the Lily Sand that doesn't doesn't necessarily go with everything, so I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it and use it as a hip bag or if I want to sell it. While I'm trying to decide, let's go through the coordinates. So Amy made this one really easy for us. We've got three basic colors right here in the Lily. Amber yellow. A little bit of that older coral color. I think that used to be called blush but uh, I don't think blush looks like that anymore. I'm not sure if the new blush would coordinate with this or not. I don't have anything in Orchid, but you can tell that the bright pink in this one is the same as the bright pink in Camel Orchid. Other than that, we've got three different greens in here. We've got a super dark green, a light green, and then there's a medium green there. None of these greens I felt worked with my olive. Just not quite. I am still giving the roundabout 10 Zambonis from Gianna from Canada because I don't think it's a bad bag at all. I think it's just my own personal preference of how you like to carry it. But I mean, Amy's given us like 16 different ways to carry this and I still just, it just doesn't work for me. But it's still a great, great bag. It's super versatile. She did add some quilting in here for a little extra um, kind of fashion and texture to it. I'm not helping at all, am I? If you're considering the roundabout but you just can't pull the trigger, head on over to the Lug Nut Lug Life Lounge on Facebook and ask some of our Lug Nuts or even our Lug Fashionista, Debbie, who's often on QVC. She loves the roundabout, so she'll be able to help you decide if it's for you or not. All right, that's enough out of me. Take off, eh?